RuPaul's Drag All Race. The time. I saw Valentina live. No way. Yes, I saw her live in Los Angeles and it was like the finale a, a few years ago. I think it was two years ago. Mm. I died. Oh my gosh. I died. You know, I saw my favorite is Aquaria. She's the best. I love Aquaria. I saw her uh, last year in Berlin. Yeah. She was there for the work the world. Well, I would I would die if I saw Violet Chachki. And just I would just want to touch her waist and be like, oh my god. <laughs> it's real. They are, they are all so gorgeous. And oh my gosh, you guys, Eva Lorenz from Pessimus of Ruviso 2024 is here. Hey girl, how are you? Hi. Wie geht's dir? I know you can speak, sir. Yeah, sehr gut. <laughs> Very good. How how can you uh, speak German? Uh, so I lived in Berlin for like eight years. I still have my residency permit. Ooh. Waiting for my permanent residency. Schengen, honey. Permit. Exactly. <laughs> I finished university there, and uh, I'm still I'm a bit rusty with German, but I understand a lot. But I can tell you the street I live in. It's Mantoferstrasse. Mantoferstrasse. Yeah. Which I didn't know it was like Devil's Street. <laughs> Because <laughs> Teufel is devil yeah, yeah, exactly. and man is man, devil. Yeah. And so man like, is a devil. A bit. And everyone kept on telling me the energy in your apartment is so good. And I was like, that's so weird because I live in like Devil Street. Devil Street. <laughs> Mine is Zinkbrunnenstrasse. I have no idea what does that mean. Zinkbrunnen. Well, Zink is a uh, vitamin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Brunnen, I don't Brunnen, know. Brunnen, I have no idea. We don't know. Yeah. We're Bulgarian and Serbian. We don't know. <laughs> Literally Balkans forever. Exactly. You know, please tell me, how was your rehearsal? It's so much fun. So I sang last year in the in-between section uh, that the girls from Hur Hurricane uh, did this year. I love no them. Way. I grew up with Xenia in the same building. No way. Yes, we grew up together. Yeah, her and Angelina as well. Angelina? Yeah, yeah. From Origami? Yes, Origami. Oh. We all grew up together. It was, it's, very, it's a very cute story. My sister always says, she's like, the three of you are always like, we want to sing. And how you guys sing? Yeah, it's, it's crazy, right? <laughs> I think it's the mentality. Maybe, or it's the building. <laughs> But yeah, so last year I sang yesterday f from the Beatles because it was in Liverpool, so I was in that part where people mm. vote. And I came here and the energy was just, I just wanted to be a part of it. I really did. It was kind of like a camp rock thing and I never had that experience and I, I grew up not really having a lot of friends who make music. So this is kind of like my little sanctuary and I really love it. Yeah. So you are happy to be here in Pesmas I am happy. I, I get happier and happier. I was telling my friend, I was like the first rehearsal, I was so out of breath. I wasn't scared I was just overly ecstatic oh. it was like oh my god and the stage is here and oh my god everyone's here and oh my god and Oliveira is here and oh my oh. god the queen the, the queen. queen is here mother has mother arrived. <laughs> exactly so I was just out of breath for the first two rehearsals because I couldn't it was so overwhelming for me and I was so excited now I'm good now yeah. I'm calm you ready <laughs> do I Steve, calm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I'm not. Well, you would need that energy at the at the stage because your song is so energetic. It is. Yeah. I have to leave it all on stage. I wanted to have a dance break and I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be. Um, am I allowed to say cunty? Okay. It's charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. Always, <laughs> always. Now, please tell me the the process of writing your song for Pesmas Eurovisio. Yeah. So I made it with Andrea. Andrea also studied abroad, as did I, and we both came back home. And I think a lot of people here are taught to leave their home. You've also yes. left your home, and I've also left my home. Uh, I came back because I think. The way you nurture your home is the way it's going to be. And if you don't keep it clean and if you don't love it and if you don't, you know, keep it upgraded, that's the way it's going to be. So it's a very double, you know, double-sided song. It's about me wanting to be home and being with my family and just telling people that the more you're home, the better it will be. And you should never be negative about the place where you come from and the culture that makes you. And I think people forget that, you know, culture is a big deal. And even if you don't want to, it makes you who you are. Yeah. So that's what the song is about. So we started it off with a ballad, and I was like, Zarya's coming, I'm not singing a ballad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was my thought. Because <laughs> she and I have the same producer, the guy who did her oh. song did my album. Oh. Yeah, so I was like, Zarya's coming, you know what, she's she just like, she can like wake up at three in the morning and sing that from her heart out. It's just not fair. Oh my God, you know what, that's so true actually. <laughs> it's just, and I called her producer and I was like, how, how are the rehearsals? She's like, it's good. And I'm like, is she happy with it? She's like, it's Zarya. Like, it's Zarya. <laughs> if there's one thing she knows, it's... <laughs> 
to belt Sing it yeah. out. Oh, <laughs> exactly. So I so I wanted to do a fast song, and I grew all the songs that I loved in Eurovision were like Kele Kele and Ruslana and Secret Combination, and I'm like, that's Eurovision for me, you know, like long hair, being beautiful, and like giving that energy and charisma, and that's why. Female bop. Yeah, and that's what I wanted to. That's what I wanted to. And Chanel, oh, I loved Chanel. No one can do it like Chanel. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to have fun but also sing. So the first 30 seconds I sing my heart out and then I dance. You are having fun and we are thriving from happiness seeing this. It was really, really, really great performance. Okay. Now, you got to tell me, what do you want people to take from uh, that performance? What do you want to tell yeah, with this performance? I think that no matter how chaotic something is, you can still find your place in it. That's like my overall message, especially when you come home. And the overall thing is, it's a fun thing to do. I think once you get into this process, people like to judge a lot. I understand it's a competition. I understand it's easy to find little mistakes and stuff. But I think we're also at a time where like, it's 2024, it's human. 21st century. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sometimes we forget about it's it. It's human to make any kind of mistake. It's human to, you know, come back next year and try it all again. And, you know, maybe and someone win. didn't... Yeah, win maybe. You have people here who have competed three times already. And, you know, people still love it and people still love them. So I think it's important to be... To have fun. It yeah. sounds stupid, but really it is. If you it's get so clever. Your, yeah, if you get into your head about it, it's just like, why are you here? <laughs> yeah, sometimes we have to think about it, you know? Yeah, I think people have to be nice on words. We've watched uh, Dora, the Croatian one. Yeah. People were so tough on them. And it's like, you know what? It was a sound and it was a sound, guys. And it's not oh, yeah. their fault. And they were way better in the finals. And people shouldn't be, shouldn't be rude. You know what? Because if you have something to say, come here and do it yourself. That's and that's on say. period. Yeah, that's what I always say. <laughs> now, um, did you listen all of the Pesmas of Ruvizu songs? Yeah. Do you have like a song that you would say, hmm, I can sing that, I can see myself in that song? I love Philip. Philip is Philip and I have known each other for a very long time. And I just love Philip in general. Any song he makes, I feel like it could also be mine. I think it's vice versa for him as well. We kind Collaboration, of please. I would love to. I think he would too. We talked about it. We just didn't have time now. But um, yeah, we have. I think we grew up listening to the same music, so that's very familiar. I like a lot of this. I love Lena's song. I love Lena's song. It's such a nice song. Classy queen. And I grew up listening to Lena, so when she came up to me and she's like, I like your music, and I was like, oh my god, wait. <laughs> I was like, please wait. I need this. I need a moment for this. <laughs> yeah, so that's... But everyone's great, honestly. Uh, are you a Eurovision fan? Yes, you are, actually. Um, you know story? You don't know my Ruslana story? So when I was little, we went to like a family trip, and Ruslana was at this resort that we couldn't go because it was such an expensive. Ruslana from Ukraine? Yes. Uh, shirikidai, shirikidamde. And I, I jumped the fence with my sister into the resort to watch her perform. It was the best thing ever. And then she went into the elevator. I was so short that I could go through the legs of people because I was like eight and tiny. So I like ran into the elevator. The elevator closed and I was like, Ruslana, Ruslana, let's sign this paper for me. And she was like, sure. And I remember that like That's it was sweet. yesterday. Yeah, so I loved oh Ruslana. Oh gosh. Now, who are your other favorite Eurovision songs like ever besides ever, Ruslana? Ever. I really like Fighter. I like this year's Fighter. I'm a big fan. I love it. Luxembourg. Yes, exactly. Oh, I really like that song. Croatia has great. I'm so happy for them. I waited for something like strong, strong. Uh, and uh, what else do I like? I'm a big Kele Kele fan. Kele 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 Kele. Imagine Sanya Vucic singing that. Oh my god. <laughs> <We're in her. laughs> Let's bring back Eurovision to Serbia. Exactly. Uh, what else do I like? Yeah, there's a lot of songs every year, but Chanel has been... I feel like Chanel gave a very good standard when it comes oh, to yeah. dancing and singing. She gave me, like, she gave Spain. It was just perfect. It was know? just, yeah. Like perfection. Yeah, she was uh, Beyonce. Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> do you like Beyonce? Of course I like Beyonce. Did you listen to Renaissance? I went to her concert and I went to her concert when I was like in high school. I left the last two classes I had and oh. waited in the arena. Oh. Waited in the arena and there were there was a camera crew with like all the people and I tried to hit my face so my teachers didn't see me. Oh. So I could be in the first row because I knew that she would cross the, my path. Yes. And she touched my hand. Stop. She touched, okay, so oh. she touched this hand. And then a year later, I by chance met her sister. 
I, it, we were in the same store. Solange? Yes, Solange, and she touched this hand. So I'm blessed by the Knowles sisters. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. Girl, that's <laughs> you are full of stories. I still didn't wash my hands. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you please write a book? I'm going to buy it. Yeah, yeah. I also have a story when my friend fainted and then we met Axel Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you met all of the stars in the world. I don't know. It just happens. Wow. It just happens. Yeah, it's a crazy well, story. Maybe it will be very, very soon that they will meet you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe they maybe they'll remember me. You, you talked about your album. Is yeah. it is it already released? Yeah, it was released last March, so it's March almost here now. Mm. Uh, it's a, I really love One that. Year. It's, it's yeah, it's a coming of age album, and I really mm. loved it. We didn't really growing up here. I didn't really have an album like you know, like Lord Pure Heroine for me was like oh. me growing up, and I loved it. And we didn't have that when I was little. We had like Baby Doll and a little bit, you know, something like that, like Kadva, but not uh, really. And I really wanted, I really wanted something like that. And I wanted to make it evergreen. And I think it sounds like an evergreen album. I really love it. I'm proud of my little baby. How was it called? It's called Svitanya. Yeah. Go and listen to Svitanya, guys. Yes, there's great songs on there. Oh my gosh, Eva, you are amazing. Thank Such you. a cool person with so many stories. Yes, maybe we should do a podcast. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 we should do that. And finally, do you have a message for your new fans on Weeby Blogs? Yes, always love Weeby Blogs. Always on top of their game. They're oh. the best. So if you don't know anything about Eurovision, that's your like starter pack. Other than that, I'm so sorry you don't have Serbian phone numbers because then I would say vote for number three. But um, yeah, I hope to see you guys in Sweden. Oh my god, yeah. we would love to have you. I, I would love to go there, thank you. Hvala ti puno, duša zlato. Hvala ljubavi, moja najlepša. You're amazing.